So I have a series that I'm going to break down. And I was going to put this as maybe a later kind of series to push out. But I really understand that this is the framework for everything I talk about. And that means that it has to do with your identity and your authenticity because you cannot build a proper personal brand unless you know who you are. And unfortunately, we're in a world today outside of any of the gender wars, but we're in a society where no one knows who they truly are because they've gotten away from all the things that would teach them who they are at the core. Authenticity is a word that's thrown around quite a bit. And most people that talk about it aren't authentic. And it's almost impossible to be 100% authentic because your journey of authenticity is that just that it's a journey. So I'm going to speak about this series, the series is going to break down what your identity really truly is all 10 pillars that make up your identity because I've seen people get lost and try to find themselves and make a lot of noise but only do themselves more damage. So to build not just a performance brand, a personal brand, but ultimately be happy and fulfilled in life. You know, happiness is an emotion. It's a roller coaster, ups and downs. But to find out who you truly are is going to take you doing work that you're afraid to do. And quite honestly, there's not a lot of people that are probably willing to do this work. But if you really want to, if you want to find confidence within yourself, truly wake up and feel radically, radically confident about who you are, not what you are. What I am is a man. Who I am are the things and the characteristics and the choices I do that define me as a man. And so we're going to break down all these things because as I circle back to the main topic, at the end of the day, what I'm here to do with my clients and you guys listening is to help you build a performance brand. But it's more than just building a personal brand that performs. It's about showing up authentic completely as yourself. I love convincing people to believe in themselves. God, do I love believe, doing that. Because seeing somebody go from a place of despair, because I was there, I fought to find out who I was without this chip on my shoulder trying to make my mom happy. And, and any any Asian cats out there understand how almost difficult and impossible that is to make them proud. But when you live a life people-pleasing, making decisions for everybody else, you end up in a state of being lost. So what we want to do is break beyond those barriers and understand who you are, which means that you can wake up knowing who you are authentically. And I'm going to walk you through that process. The other thing is breaking those limiting beliefs because your beliefs, where you're at today is a conditioning factor of everything you've been through and everything you're afraid to go through. Third thing here is understanding the external world. I'm going to break down wokeness here too as well because what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to keep a very middle line with this uh, because I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm here to help walk you through this process. So I've been building brands for 24 years. And aside from that, I've had a bigger passion for mindset, mental health. So I've been studying this stuff since I was a teenager. And being at 42 now, there's a lot of years put into this. So why do this? One, one reason is that to understand who you are at the core, you are coming to terms with every part of yourself. And there's a saying that I love. It's if you, if you don't heal, then you're going to bleed all over everybody else. And that's the thing is that you want to focus on your own well-being for your own mental health, your sanity. The closer you are to knowing how to navigate the world, it doesn't feel like it's an elephant sitting on your chest. So the other reason is that you feel fulfilled. Something's driving you much more profoundly than just the normal standard stuff in the world, the external validations. Those things aren't going to do anything for you. You know, there's a saying that I have it's that you having your shit together does not mean that it has to do with the fact that you have a car, a home, and a job. You could lose all of those. Having your shit together means that you have character, integrity, conviction. It, that, that's the things that people can't take away from you. And so when we go through life, we need to understand some concepts. Who you are, your identity as a whole, all 10 pillars, is a fluid concept. Now, 
Let me put that side by side to something that people want to get angry about. But if you get angry about this, I encourage you to continue to follow for context because I'm going to break down this because if you are in those moments where you're triggered, you're lost, you're frustrated, any of these things, because that's the biggest thing. Feeling lost sucks. But feeling found, holy crap. That is, I would love people to find the the place I got to after making a very expensive lesson happen. I ended up going on a spiritual journey, finding out who I was, what I was about. Not living with a chip on my shoulder, but finding purpose and meaning in my life and who I am. Not waking up and being like, okay, you know what? What am I as is it, what am I or what do I have to do? More so, who am I? Who do I want to be today? That's more of an important question to ever ask ourselves because the ten pillars that make up everything that you are, they're gonna be essential. I'm gonna break down each of these. There's there's a lot to go into. So I'll give you a high level right now. It is your genetics, the things that you really can't change. But those are the things that a lot of people find themselves struggling with to accept. And so everything you don't accept about yourself, you shove deep down into a cage where you create a monster. And the two things that really plague people when they're trying to build up who they are, their personal brand, is self-sabotage and imposter syndrome. Now you're adding to that pot. So the things you hate about yourself that you're not, not willing to accept, you judge yourself. That right there starts feeding the monster. And then you have your family your family dynamics, your background, which come up with many different things. But culture plays a massive effect into who you are as a person. Your belief models follow that. So then question yourself, are your belief models and values in life, did you choose those? Or were they conditioned? Or did you end up changing them at some point but based upon another pillar, which is your experiences in life, your trauma, and the goods, the highs, the lows, all of those? And then from there, we've got your education level, your experience. What's your approach to continuing your education, your learning? And then from there, we've got your gender, which is before you get off on the, on, on the rails here, understand. I'm going to speak from a very deep place of compassion because I have the same mentality towards someone choosing their gender because of how they feel, same exact mentality is someone finding their identity in their career. Who you are is not one thing. Who you are is a construct of these many things that have geared you towards different directions in your life. Now, your gender, your sexuality is a construct of many different things, but ultimately a balance between your masculine and feminine sides. And when do you learn to heal your trauma? and you go through the, the life of learning yourself, your philosophy and perspective, not only just upon your gender, your career, your social status, your relationship status, and your hobbies, all these things, every single one of these things you experience in life is influenced by who you are and influenced by your emotions. And your emotions are a temporary state of mind. If you go from angry and I come in and make jokes and you're happy the next moment, your entire state of mind, your reality has changed. And so, yeah, who you are, your identity as an overall concept is fluid because your experience change. Your level of healing changes. Now, your moment on, in your life when you go from here to here to here is all dictated based upon your willingness to actually heal different parts of yourself. And the reason I speak about identity to this depth is that we have to speak about it to this depth to understand who we are at the very core because we're, there's a lot on the table. There's a cost to everything, everything in the world. There's a cost. There's a cost for greatness. There's also a cost for despair. So how, you, how do you go about doing this? Continue following because in my podcast series here, I'm going to go ahead and break down each one of these. Now, regardless if you're intentionally trying to build your personal brand or wherever you're trying to go in life, you're going to benefit from this because there's a version of you that's sabotaging everything on the surface. And that's essentially what Carl Jung describes as the shadow self. I like calling it more of a monster because it causes mayhem and it's a little bit untamed. So it's your job to stop giving love to so many different things and people finding validation, forcing validation from others. And starting to learn how to validate yourself 
Because the byproduct of this is personal balance, learning how to be and do, and not doing things for outcome reasons, but doing things for purpose reasons. And so even though I talk about this as a high level right now, it's important that we get across the point that who you are is made up of many different things. Your identity is comprised of not only your willingness to work on each of these, accept them, but also your decision on what you do from it from here. Because the level of which you've accepted and worked on healing yourself is going to dictate where you go from here. So I encourage you to be open, be ready. You're not going to change overnight. You're not going to grow overnight. But the more you abandon yourself, the more lost you're going to feel. So continue to follow. This is Ghost. I look forward to seeing you on this journey. I'll talk to you soon.